And the younger children always ask me, if you had a magic wand, would you change who you are? And there is always surprise in the room when I say, no, absolutely not. I have the condition of a chondroplasia, which means that I stand at the height of three foot five inches tall. And in many ways, my disability could be looked at through various different lens. But actually, I view disability and my unique challenges through the social model. I am not disabled because of the way in which my genetic makeup occurred when I was born, but because of society, and mostly because of the design of society and the world around me. Because when we were building this world, no one ever thought of me. No one thought how I would access facilities and resources such as bathrooms. No one thought that I would need or want to wear clothes that were chic, comfortable and functional. And what I want to change is regards to that system is that I no longer have to ask for help, but that I live in a world where my autonomy is validated, my autonomy is valued, and it's also encouraged. There is always an assumption that as regards to my life, that there is a moment or numerous moments every day in which they should feel sympathy for me. There is still this narrative as regards to disability of how I have overcome all of these obstacles and am not I wonderful and heroic. And in many ways, I feel very fortunate that I have lived with this disability and lived as Sinead for my entire existence. I have never known anything else. Although my disability and my height doesn't define me, it has shaped who I am. It has made me become articulate and resilient and confident. And I don't think I would be the same person. And as narcissistic as it sounds, I am very proud of the Sinead Burke that I am today and wouldn't change it for the world.